ditch the umbrella. It was raining pretty hard here just a little bit earlier. Since we arrived here, we're in uh, northwest Henderson. The rain's been off and on since we got here at about 345, but right now there's really not much coming down. You can see we are outside an elementary school, and since the start of the pandemic, there have been 17 school nurses that have uh, stopped working for CCSD. And the nurses say they've been working harder than they ever have before. Now, the latest deal that was struck, they say, is a first step, but there's still a lot more to be done. That item has a 7 to 0. Thank you very much. And thank you. In a unanimous decision at the Board of Trustees meeting Thursday night, full-time special procedure nurses were granted a stipend of $10,000 to be paid out over the next year for their added responsibilities they've taken on during the pandemic. Dozens showed their support for the decision. Add in all of the duties that we have to do with the pandemic and to keep children safe, to keep staff safe, to keep our families safe, and to support them within the community, it was nice to hear the support. School nurses are administering vaccines, helping with COVID-19 testing, and now that school is back in session, they're running so-called sick rooms, where students go if they have possible COVID-19 symptoms. All that on top of running the regular health offices. This past year felt like working a 16-hour shift in the hospital, where you are on your feet all day and your back is hurting. When you get a chance to sit, you're grunting from fatigue and pain to get up to care for the next patient. Most of the school nurses work at two different schools. Nurse Sharissa McGlynn says she covers three different CCSD schools. We're close enough to be called and get somewhere in five minutes, you know, for things like suicide protocols and any type of like emergency, you know, medical issue like seizures. But the National Association of School Nurses recommends one nurse to every 750 students. McGlynn says her team of nine nurses covers more than 22,000 students from 20 schools. The nurses say the added stipend will certainly help, but there is still a shortage in the district. Part of the problem is pay for those with bachelor's degrees in nursing. Comparison of pay to nurses working in hospitals to working in schools is very drastic. And as more students return to the classroom, the nurses expect their workload to be even busier. Now, CCSD does say that they are actively working to hire more support staff to help the nurses out. I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And in just over a week, CCSD students in grades 6, 9, and 12 are set to step back into the classroom and begin hybrid learning.